Hyperbolica, for those who want the experience. We all get used to the usual scenarios of interaction with the world. One of the key and the invariable scenarios is interaction with the space, it is always predictable, yeah? There are jokes with the portals, but in general you don't have to invent anything special, right? Not this way. The author of Hyperbolica game was set to make fun of the only thing that has been unchanged in our world at this time. In fact, space. And unlike regular Unity 3D games, yes, it's a Unity game, it uses non-Euclidean geometry. In general, I'm not really a fan of this game because I only know about the game from the devlog. But still, my experience was amazing. Hyperborica is a whimsical non equilibrium adventure with the mind being words full of game puzzles, mazes and the secrets. Immerse yourself in a reality warning geometries with line can never be parallel, horizons are curved and space grow exponentially. Hyperbolic space allows exponentially more volume to fit in the same space that you normally expect. This allows you to explore enormous areas while taking very little time to walk anywhere. You find that building a mental map on surroundings becomes impossible. Lines can no longer be a parallel, transversing the map can result in unexpected rotations and many more strange consequences that will make you question reality. You also explore spherical space, which has been opposite the outcomes. For example, at reverse perspective, objects appear larger the farther away they are. So let's talk about the controller support, it's alright, I'm not that the big fan of the deal unless you just don't own a gamepad and I'm going to put another disclaimer here and in one other, another warning on this game that's not, definitely not for anyone who does not enjoy the intense VR experiences. If you are experiencing motion sickness in VR, you are likely to experience that in this game. Now I am the VR veteran and I never experienced VR nausea or motion sickness before this Hyperbolic game. Hyperbolic is an invention and logic game developed by Code Parrot for the PC platform. The environment in the game belongs to the style of science fiction and the following features can be discussed. Adventure, indie, psychedelic, exploration, single player, experimental exploration, surreal, first person, 3D platformer, VR, casual games, TV achievements and also. You will have access to such game modes for one player. Globally, Hyperbolica is disturbed under one time per case model by the core pair publisher. At the moment the game stage is launched and it's released on 03-14-2022. You cannot download Hyperborica for free unfortunately, including via torrent since the game is disturbed according to the one time per chick model. The guys already has been made some bug fixtures, so they fixed it a, a cutscene where Cornelius was sometimes not looking in the right direction, fixed it the crash that can happen when quitting the game on Linux, added an error pop-up on the windows when quitting the game if the any errors were encountered, making the dialogue system more resilient to the errors, and better clarify that Benny Quest is also collecting all of the thing. So I suggest you definitely not to play this game whether you are drunk or with a beer, because you're going to be very very surprised. There is a lot of issues with the VR at the moment, you cannot adjust half of the settings if you are in VR. You can't adjust your play space, you can't reset your play space, my view is permanently stuck on the side, making talking to character awkward. My collision capsule is on the side as well, making interacting with the world awkward also. Sometimes very basic settings are missing, like changing the movement style to follow HMD instead of the controller, rebinding buttons, etc. We'll have to avoid this VR for. And the lasers are supposed to be straight lines, but in this game the lasers constantly curves download, maintaining um, maintain the same distance above to flat the ground. In order for the lasers to be straight, it must diverge upwards away from the ground because the parallel lines in the hyperbolic space diverge. A way how to fix would have been make the mirrors more elevated of the ground and angle downwards so that the laser is aimed downwards, um, approach the ground and it's parallel too, so then diverges back to the up next to the mirror. So the game is the game is a real a real tough one. I definitely suggest you to play this game if, if you have the VR headset. This is for the win. You have to play it.
Thank you for watching. Peace.